These are the most horrible facts about your favorite tech company, Apple, and the last one will shock you as it shocked me. Stay tuned. Apple's ongoing conflict with repair shops is well known. Unlike other competitors in the industry, where manufacturers often sell parts to independent repair shops, Apple prefers customers to use their stores or Apple authorized repair centers. This has led to criticism as Apple does not supply genuine iPhone parts to many repair shops. Apple's commitment to the environment has been a point of discussion. In 2020, Apple decided to ship all iPhones without charger to reduce e-waste as most iPhone users already own multiple chargers. However, the introduction of USB-C with the iPhone 15, which is incompatible with the existing 2 billion iPhone chargers, has led to questions about Apple's true intentions. Despite Apple's eco-friendly image, most of its devices are not upgradable and are often difficult to repair. This encourages users to frequently replace old devices contributing to the global e-waste problem. Apple's consumer practices have also been criticized. For intense, Apple takes a 30% commission from most app store purchases, a rate significantly higher than other digital storefronts. This means that nearly a third of your expenditure goes directly to Apple, not the app developer. The absence of Fortnite, one of the world's most popular games, from the app store has been notable. In 2020, Epic Games, Fortnite's publisher, introduced an in-game payment option that bypassed the app App Store fees leading to Apple removing Fortnite from the App Store. Microsoft and Google have been unable to introduce their cloud gaming platforms to the App Store due to Apple's strict rules. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at tech underscore section. Apple's ecosystem, while offering seamless integration and user experience, also makes it difficult for users to switch to other platforms. US iPhone users spent an average of $138 on apps in 2020, a 38% increase from the previous year. Switching to Android or another platform would mean leaving behind this library of paid apps and content. Like several other prominent companies, Apple has faced allegations of using sweatshop labors. In 2017, Tech Insider shared the story of Li Jianxing, a student who went undercover at an iPhone factory in Shanghai. Zheng took on the role of a production line worker, working exhausting 12-hour shifts six days a week. His monthly wage was a mere 3100 yuan, roughly $450. Zinc also shed light on the factory's living conditions, which were overcrowded and current. Eight workers often share a single room, and over 200 people shared a bathroom. This insight provided a stark contrast to the image of Apple as a socially responsible company and highlighted the harsh realities of life in factory. And if you want to know what the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 will look like, watch this video afterwards. And please, take just a second to support me by subscribing to my channel and liking this video and perhaps sharing it with interested friends thank you for watching see you on the next one